And the skyline behind us in Cincinnati, unfortunately, it is about to change. Macy's is moving its headquarters out of our area. And good evening, I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palolo. Macy's is now taking with it hundreds of jobs and a lot of Cincinnati history and prestige as well. WLWT News Flash Todd Dykes live for us downtown covering what's next for the company and the workers for our city. Hi, Todd. Hi, Sheree. You know, when Macy's finally leaves its towering headquarters at 7th and Vine downtown, it will mark the end of a very long era, as you indicated. It will also create significant uncertainty for the 500 people who work here. Now, one city leader I talked to uh, calls today's news very sad, especially since so many Macy's workers will be impacted by the company's decision to leave the Queen City. The Macy's, which in recent years has split its headquarters operations between here and New York, plans to consolidate its presence there, leaving Cincinnati behind. A short time ago, I spoke to Councilman David Mann about Macy's decision. He's under the impression that officials with the company have been considering shuttering their operations downtown for at least the past few months. Even so, for Mann and many others, today's news stings a great deal. Well, it's very sad. I mean, obviously, there's some human beings involved whose employment is uh, lost. That is bad for them, bad for the city. Also, uh, Macy's has been something we've been very proud to have in our community, including its forebears. Uh, uh, fe uh, federated, the Lazarus family, and, and all the rest. So uh, it's not a good day. Yeah, certainly a lot of history tied up in this company. Macy's also plans to close corporate offices in San Francisco and one in Lorain, Ohio, as part of a major restructuring effort. Now, the company does have a custom contact center in Mason. That uh, center is going to stay open and, in fact, absorb some work from a facility, a similar facility in Arizona that is also going to be closed. Reporting live downtown, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.